Hi, so today I want to talk about taking time out for yourself if you're a dad or your husband. And oh, the dog. And as, as for me, um, I used to feel really guilty, really bad about doing things for myself, such as uh, going to, to do some sport like Jiu Jitsu or going fishing or hanging out with friends or even doing personal things like um, working out or eating my meals separate from the family and I think the truth is that if you don't do these things for yourself that your family won't see the benefits otherwise because there was a point in my life where I wasn't eating right. There was a point in my life where I wasn't working out. There was a point in my life where I wasn't trying to improve myself. And I could see it reflect on the family. Everybody seemed as though they had no motivation in life. They seemed as though uh, they had no zeal for life. And I feel as though now that I'm losing uh, weight, I'm getting lean, I'm uh, working out, my whole demeanor changes, and I think that really reflects on the family too, because I think the father, the husband, he sets the tone, and if he's uh, unhappy with himself because he's not achieving the goals in his life that he wants to achieve, everyone in the room could feel it, <clears throat> and it's really depressing, and it will also lead to depression if you don't do something for yourself to improve yourself and not not just for yourself but you have to do something that improves yourself to help the family to better the family and my example for that would be uh, lifting weights or running because there's always a moment in your life where you have to lift something and there may be a time when you have to run to go save someone you know hanging and dangling from a tractor or if you want to go and learn how to weld or you want to take part in trade school or go to college, you know, if that can benefit you and the family, then that's something you should do as well. But obviously you probably need to talk to the wife about that. But for me, I like, I like to do uh, jujitsu. That really helps me have a better understanding of body mechanics. It helps me build a, a self-confidence that I've never had before because uh, I've always not, I'm not the biggest guy and I'm not the tallest guy either. And I always felt like that was a disadvantage because big dudes seem scary, you know? But the truth is that learning a little bit of jujitsu even a little bit of wrestling or even a little bit of judo, a little bit of boxing, any of that can improve your confidence and also give you an edge that maybe a, another guy may not have. And the likelihood is the other guy may not have an advantage, but you probably don't want to be looking for that stuff either because you never know who has what or knows what. But you really want to uh, give yourself the advantage in every bad situation. But also on top of the jiu-jitsu, Personal fitness, uh, working out, um, running, sorry the car is acting funny, but like running, oh man you feel so good afterwards, and I'm not saying immediately afterwards, sometimes you do, but but right now I feel great, I feel amazing, uh, I feel like I look better than I have in a long time, um, and I, I probably want to do some comparison videos and some comparison pictures for myself. But yeah, uh, back to the point of doing something for yourself, especially if you're the husband and if you're the father, you need to be improving yourself, whether it's in weight loss, even if it's only in weight loss, you don't need to be doing everything at the same time. I just have reached a certain point in my life where I want to try to be good at everything that I do and I want to be the not the best, but I just want to be good enough at everything that I do. I want to be able to fend off people, 
that want to hurt me or my family. I want to be able to be physically strong. I want to be able to have endurance and cardio. I also want to know how to do things like uh, shoot a gun or uh, take care of the farm or take care of animals, you know, just basic necessities, you know, back, back in the day, you know, you did everything for yourself by yourself and you didn't have YouTube, you didn't have all the tools, you know, it was a different time. But I want to just be, I think the best way to put it is I want to be self-sufficient. And I want, not that I want to do it all by myself, but I want to be able to do it all by myself if I can. But, you know, I, I've always got neighbors who know things and have connections and have friends in the same manner. So I, I just feel like, uh, even though I don't know everything, I am thankful that I also have neighbors too. Because they know, my neighbors are older than me and they have a lot more knowledge than me. But if you're a dad and you're, or your husband, or even if you're a father figure of any kind, you set the tone, you set the example, and you dictate how the future is going to transpire. So I would just suggest to every man, every dad, every father figure, every husband, that you need to better yourself as hard as it is. Um, right now I've got a M MCL or ACL, I don't have insurance, so I don't know, but it was uh, hurt really bad in a jiu-jitsu competition, and um, I'm just running, and I'm lifting weights that I can lift, and it's there's still pain. I can't bend my knee all the way, but I'm doing everything I, I think that I can to heal it up without surgery, so if I can do that, I think that you can do that too. And you can do more, especially if you're not hurt. So don't take any excuses. Um, don't make any excuses. Because when I got hurt, I didn't stop working. I had to get, I had to go back on the job immediately after. Like, I woke up in the morning. It hurt like the Dickens. And I had a, I had a physical, I have a physical job. I weed whack, I mow, and uh, I'm, I can walk. For miles in a day and uh, and it wasn't easy and to me it helped me build some grit that I needed and uh, any chance that I can I think I'll take the opportunity to build some grit so get out there get after it uh, change yourself and change everyone around you thank you for watching